Welcome back to my new tutorial. In this video, we will gonna studying about how you can install a Linux OS or some other OS inside a particular working OS. So if I am using Windows 10, how you can install or how you can add like a Fedora OS or Linux OS inside it. If you have watched previous video, you will gonna knowing that we have to use Oracle VM virtual box or a virtual environment. So this is the virtual box. Before getting into this virtual box, you need to download a ISO file. So which operating system you need to download which you if you can go for a Fedora Linux or this is a Fedora version or this is the Ubuntu whichever you are free with working that OS you have to download for downloading you have to make sure that which OS and which is 32 bit or 64 bit please make sure that which version you are downloading so after downloading the file you can get here and you can click on download it will be an easy task so we just click on download you will get after uh, contributing if you are interested you can pay with paypal or you can do some contributing otherwise you just click on now take me to the download after clicking you will get a pop-up link so here here you can see that here you can see that it's an 64 bit so the Ubuntu version is of 64 bit but we are downloading if you are downloading this 64 bit only you need to configure the same otherwise if your laptop is 32 bit you make sure that you are downloading a 64 or if your which laptop configuration you are having that OS you have to be downloaded if it is mismatched then it will surely a problem so after downloading this just open a Oracle VM box so this is the Oracle VM box click on the new after clicking new just give a title name like OSS or you can give just click on the name X X don't remember your X it is an example so next click on this uh, Linux platform and here it's already selected Ubuntu 64 or you can change it to Ubuntu 32 if you're having 32 bit OS after clicking this click on next here it's allocated a memory of 1024 MB out of 8 GB which means you can partition yourself with your RAM so that it will take a memory it's not like 1024 MB you need to it need require for this to run you can change this value to so that your, your OS will be comfortable which means if you are having 4 GB just make it to 512 so that it will work because mine having 8 GB RAM so I am giving a 1024 MB for working of Linux system so click here you need to create a virtual hard disk so inside this you need to create a virtual hard disk so that your all linux file will be stored in that virtual hard disk after clicking on create you click on vdi virtual disk box click on vdi virtual box disk image after click on next here you select it as dynamically allocated and next and here you click on create so after you will get the interface something cool like this what you have to do is you have to go for settings after setting you will get opened a box after click on setting you will get an interface something like this here you click on advanced and make sure that you have selected bi-directional so that if you have file outside the linux system which means i will show right if you have a something file here and you need to transfer it into the linux so bi-directional if you have selected then you can easily move a file between two of the operating systems so we have selected a bi-directional and the system is uh, everything is fine here click on networks and display okay it's 16 mb not bad and here you it is the main task you click on this storage device and empty go into this uh, cd mark and click on choose virtual optical disk image after selecting this one you need to go to the exact location of where you have downloaded the previous OS you can click you can use Ubuntu in the same procedure if you have placed a Fedora file if you are interested in Fedora OS and click on this Fedora and click open so I am showing you the Ubuntu next you can check out this and uncheck and you have if you want a pen drive to be connected to your Linux enable this serial port after everything is right and click on OK so what you have to need is you have to click on this start so it will take some few seconds so that it will be creating a environment for running virtual box so here it came the interface so here we are running a 
Linux inside a Windows system. So like this it will work. You can apply the same procedure for if you want to run a virtual or if you want to run any Android type of OS which is a Remix OS or you can use it for running any type of OS which is can be used for testing or for some reason you may need to use Windows XP you can use Windows XP or you can use Fedora like this it will work and here one more important news is this mouse pointer outside it will work for Windows when we came into the inside it will be get into the Ubuntu's mouse pointer so you can read right here the virtual machine reports that the guest operating support mouse integration mouse pointer integration which means that this mouse pointer is automatically integrated inside to the OS this will be a very useful task for even the keyboard also you can interface like that only no need of any shortcut keys or anything it will be automatically if you are running inside a OS look right here the uh, look right here, here automatically your your mouse pointer has changed as come into this uh, automatically if you minimize this one and here it is the pointer of windows same mouse we are using no need of any other external devices you can click on try ubuntu or install ubuntu or if you want more details like this you just click you just comment me i will do one more video on how you can exactly install ubuntu or if you face any problems regarding installing like that you just comment me what is the problem with the screenshot it will be helpful for solving that problems thank you if you want to tell anything you just make in the comment thank you guys if you like my video give me a thumbs like or if you want to if you want a video something like this please click on subscribe